This is Vin Baker, you watching Real Fans Real Talk. Real Fans Real Talk.com. Well, Arthur Trick Young and Intern Tom. For the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I'll get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats Man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the cats. Hello, everyone. Mark the Statman Skevich here with one of the greatest comebacks in boxing history. The man himself, Vinny Paz. Welcome to the program. Hey, nice to meet you, Mark. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you say one of the greatest stories in boxing comebacks? Name one that's better. <laughs> I, I just say one, right. one of. Uh, I, I personally would think it's, it's the the you know the most amazing comeback in boxing well, history. Say that then. It's the uh, let, let's do it. A little, <laughs> let, 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 now we got to do it over. No, 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 keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. We're, we're, going, we're going, going to keep it rolling, but I'm just going to correct yeah, myself. I am here with Vinny Paz. The most amazing comeback in boxing history. Hey, now you talk. Great to have you on. Now, for those of you that don't know, uh, champion of the world, five times, five times but the, the the most amazing thing is the car accident, the, the ne neck injury, the doctor saying you shouldn't come back. What made you have the ball, so to speak, to even attempt to make a comeback after that? Yeah, it was a crazy period in my life, and um, I don't know. I just, I just wasn't gonna take no for an answer, and 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 you know, like I told my mother, I said, "Ma, I'm gonna make this happen, or I'm gonna die trying." And she started crying, and I and I I meant it, and and you know, I got lucky, a lot of hard work, but got a lot of luck too. There's the big guy upstairs is looking out for me. And I want to say hi to my girl, my PR girl. She's not my PR girl. She's my everything girl. Zena. Zena, I hope you see this. Giving you a big shout out. I love that girl. I got to give her a credit. She's the only one in my life right now that does anything for me. She's, she's the bomb. Definitely. Not only... How, she gonna see, how can I tell her to see this? Well, our archives are on realfansrealtalk.com, but we're on local cable TV. Thursday nights, Verizon Channel 44 and all five boroughs of NYC. But not only did you make a comeback, but you came back and you won the title again. And it's just amazing stuff right there. It's pretty cool. I, I Actually, three world titles after I broke my neck. I, I won two before I broke it and three after I broke it. So definitely amazing stuff. Now, you had an injury. And Ring 10, it takes care of boxers that fall on hard times. Had you not had somebody get on an injury and not be able to come back, it's great to have an organization like Ring 10 out there. Wouldn't you agree? Most definitely. You know, I, I almost can't believe what they do. But they, they do some really good stuff. And uh, this don't it don't happen too often. And there's the very few charities that, like, give a lot back and, and they do you know I've witnessed it personally and uh, it's pretty cool I'm, ha I'm happy about it hey brother cool cool definitely ring10.org is the website for those of you who want to donate for the boxes that fall on hard times and uh, now you had a movie made after you bleed for this what, did, what was that like knowing that a movie was made after you it was I mean it was cool it was, it was an awesome movie I mean they did a great job um, I of course I kind of gave him the material for it, but uh, it was awesome. Miles Teller, it don't get any better. Nobody could have played that better than Miles Teller. He did things I, I don't I, I couldn't believe he was doing. I'm like how the hell does he know I do that? It, I was it was just it was incredible. Um, Katie Segal played my mother which was, it, she looked like my mother. Like, you know, go figure. Um, Aaron Eckhart was absolutely fabulous as my trainer, Kevin Rooney. Karen Hines was awesome as my dad. And Miles Teller just shined, you know, he shined. It was, it was, it was it, the movie was really good. It's too bad it didn't get enough credit, but that's a whole nother situation. Now, were you actively involved with the movie as far as... Uh or the authenticity of everything that's in there? Uh, believe it or not, no. But it was very accurate. Um, it just would have had a couple of things, you know, a little different. My father never left my side. 
You know, I got lucky. I got lucky with great parents. My father never left my side. And all girls around me had big boobs. And that's the only thing I would have changed. Because if they didn't have big boobs, I put them in, in them. And believe me, I went through about 100 grand in boobs. So that's one thing I would have changed if I was on the set. And I, I mean that. <laughs> Vinny Paz is a fan of the boobs, aren't we all? <laughs> We appreciate the work that you've done in that sense, too. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Vinny Paz, thank you for joining us on this edition of Real Fans, Real Talk. It was a real pleasure having you on the program. I can't wait to see this interview. <laughs>